Sky and good evening. Crews are back on the scene of a fire on an asphalt plant and working to find out how the flames started. People who lived within a mile of southeast emulsions were told to stay indoors or evacuate. Yeah, now those orders have been lifted, but neighbors want to know what's next. Seven News reporter Kimberly Brown talked to people who told us that they felt something like this could actually happen. So, Kim, tell us about that. Well, Diane, Tom, we are here at Southeast Emulsions where the fire crews were called back more than an hour ago. We have yet to find out why they were called back. We suspect that there were a couple of hot spots over this fire that happened yesterday at this tank. Well, a lot of people who are working this say that there really isn't anything to be worried about, but those who live in and around this area say that they're pretty concerned. A recent fire at the Southeast Emulsions Company is one of the reasons James Lancaster fought so hard to keep the plant from being built in Union County. About five or six years ago before they built this plant, I heard about it and I was uh, concerned. I got up a petition. I probably 95 percent of the people to sign the petition. Southeast Emulsions came anyway. A fire started Sunday afternoon, and fire officials say the blaze happened between the outer wall and the inner wall of a tank holding 2.1 million gallons of asphalt. Now the fire is out, and the voluntary evacuation put in place because of concern over the smoke is now lifted. Public, I mean, just stay aware, but right now we're pretty confident there isn't no more danger to the, to the area. With the fire being out, the concern now turns to cooling hot spots. To do so, the crews had to pull the siding off of the tank to allow it to cool off. While Ned Lancaster repairs cars, he's concerned that a repair to the affected tank won't keep future emergencies from happening. I know if it does happen and it gets worse, it could be catastrophic for us just because we're only a quarter mile from it. Again, just a little over an hour before this show, firefighters were called back. We saw the fire engines racing down this road. We have yet to hear why they were called back. We did reach out to the company. We also reached out to DHEC to find out about the air quality concerns they had. We have yet to hear back from them. One thing that we do know, according to the emergency management officials, they tell us that they'll look at all of the processes put in place as they responded to this emergency and they'll make adjustments as necessary. Reporting live from Union County, Kimberly Brown, 7 News. Thank you, Kim.